Hello and welcome everyone. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn and see everything about Flixa WAPI template management system. So first of all, as you can see here, these are all the approved templates in my account. Okay. So why you need the templates approved? So Flexa WAPI is basically a meta verified tech solution and business solution provider. Therefore, this tool allows you to send any amount of messages to contact list. There is no restrictions. Therefore, every template that needs to be sent to any contacts, they must be verified by Meta. So let's see how to create a template and get this approved. Once you click on create template, you have two options. This is our template library where it has 3000 plus templates. If you want to use any of the pre-made templates, go here. And you have different options to explore. Okay. So financial services has different types of templates. You have a language option to choose from where you will get the templates according to the language you prefer. If you click on all category, you will receive the templates from all the different languages. Okay. Now let's go back to create a new template. Meta provides you three different category of templates, marketing template, utility template and authentication template. So authentication templates are those where you send them one time passcode just like verifying your account codes mobile numbers let's say you want to register someone on whatsapp you can send them an otp sms these kind of transactional messages are called authentication messages utility so as we know in email marketing we always talk about two types of email marketing transactional emails and promotional emails in the same format meta categorizes its templates in two different categories marketing stands for marketing side of templates and utility stands for transactional side of templates so if you are sending your customers some support notifications account notifications order update notifications or any kind of messages that are transactional in nature. You always have to use the utility category. Otherwise, for most cases, if you are trying to outreach to a new audience or to a new number of contact list, always choose the marketing category. Now, once you select the marketing category, you have three different types of subcategories to choose from. These two options catalog and flows are related to the advanced feature of the tool, which we are going to cover in some other video. And these two features are directly linked to the flows and the commerce catalog. So for the sake of simplicity of this video, let's choose the custom marketing template. Give it a name. Test marketing template one. Choose your language, whatever you want to. Click on next. Now this is the header. Okay. So this side you will see the preview. Header can have three options. Either it can take an image from you or it can take a video from you or a text. Okay. So let's go for text this time. Give your message. And this header will always appear above and in bold on your body. Okay. This is your body for the body content. We have even given you the option to generate with AI. Okay. Let's try to use this. Choose a prompt. Write a WhatsApp template for Texa Wapi.
you can even choose a language here and also pick the option to emojify this template content if you like click on generate and the content is here right in front of you now use this content and the content is directly copied here okay so this is how you can use ai to generate any kind of content but for this tutorial i want to keep this simple okay so i'm going to delete all the content and do it with myself something like this if you want to bold some content inside your template select the content click on the bold icon you can also make this item italic and also use strike through if you want to insert some emojis you can also insert some emojis inside the system okay after that you can use this footer option to either send a message like this that this message is sent via Flexawapi or you can also allow people to opt out from your marketing messages. So for example, type stop to opt out. Okay. So this stop keyword we have entered inside our system as a hard code way to opt out from the marketing messages. Now you have some button options which you can attach along with your message template. So you have three different categories of buttons. First custom buttons which you can use up to 10 different custom buttons here to create a menu sort of thing. Okay. Second you can create a website link which can be only one button as the maximum. Third is the phone number. So you can allow people to call you directly from this. So let's add these two buttons for the simplicity of this video. In the other video, I am going to cover custom buttons when I am covering reply bot automations. Okay. So this is my website URL and I can again use a call us button on this number save now your template is saved and you will be redirected to this step okay so once you finish creating your template now you have to send this template to approval for meta click on send for approval your template is pending for review okay and normally if you have previously few of the templates approved meta does not take more than 30 to 60 seconds to approve your next templates in order to see the status of this template whether it's approved or rejected you need to click on this button click to sync templates from meta Okay, so this is our template, test marketing template one. And you can see here it's approved already. You can still check the preview of this template. And that's how easy it is to get a template approved officially from Meta. This step is super, super important if you want to broadcast your campaigns. For any amount of broadcasting, you need to have a template approved from Meta first. Okay. If you want to manage your templates directly on Facebook, you can also use this button 
to press manage templates on meta this will open up a manage templates button and a panel inside your business facebook account you can use these options to go inside templates library okay and use any of the templates from here for you to know we have already synced the entire template library provided by meta directly inside the tool this is the option and in this option you have all the templates listed from meta click on use template the template is now added you will not be able to edit this part because the template that you used is from the utility category therefore this part is marked as not editable simply you go to the next step and you can choose your body modify your body and do the same thing okay so that's how you are able to get your templates approved edited and modified thank you for watching this video let me connect you in the next session